My name is Damien and this is Growing Together. This is the first part of my interview with Victoria Hutchison and a series of videos that I'm going to do on the case of the West Memphis Three. These videos are a testimony and a confession of who God is and how He acts in the darkest places. Victoria is a dear friend of mine, an incredible person of God and a mentor who was forced to bear false witness by the police in this case under the threat of them taking away her son Aaron Hutchison. In these videos, we're going to disclose the truth of what happened in the child murders in West Memphis, Arkansas. Christopher Murray is not Christopher Byers. John Mark Byers never legally adopted him. His name is Christopher Murray. Get that straight. Christopher Murray, Stephen Branch, and Michael Moore were brutally murdered. We're doing this for them and for everyone who has suffered because of this case. The police were not incompetent, and neither was the justice system. They were and are malicious accomplices to these murders. Let's also get that straight. God will bring about His justice, not just in this case, but in every case that involves evil. God is a terrorist when it comes to the people who directly and or indirectly harm children. If you are a child abuser, God is coming after you. There is nothing that you have done that will not be brought to the light. If you want salvation, you need to bring it to the light. We are witnesses to the truth. And in these videos, you are going to know the truth. Here's my dear friend, Victoria. Say a prayer then, okay. so the prayer. All right. Dear Father God, we just ask you that you would just lead us and guide us right now as we just try to um, humbly and, and directly come and and do all this for your benefit, Father God, to bring forth the truth in this case and and bring forth the truth and 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 make known things that need to be known in this case. Father God, that we just bring relief to the people that need relief. And Lord, that you just open the minds of the people that might see it or hear it and that you would just be with um, Damien and I right now as we talk about this and that you just lead us and guide us and let everything be done to the glory of you. In your heavenly name we pray, amen. Amen. I guess we should probably start in December. Then the beginning would be that I moved from Springdale with Scott and Aaron. What year? 92. 92. So you, it's one year before. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why did you guys move to West Memphis? Um, I met Charles Anthony Anderson. He was from West Memphis, Arkansas. Met him in Springdale, Arkansas. That's, he was working down there, and um, we became engaged, and we're going to get married. And he was from West Memphis, and we went to his hometown of West Memphis, Arkansas. So he had family in West Memphis? Yes, he did. His mom and sister and two brothers. Mom, sister, and two brothers. Mm -hmm. So Charles Anthony Anderson. We uh, rented our own place. And you guys got rented the house that you were staying at? On East Barton. was how far how far down was it from I uh, lived two houses down from um, Mark and Melissa Byers uh -huh. and been across the street from Mark and Melissa were Still the more. Moors mm -hmm. uh -huh. and I had a son Aaron who was eight also uh -huh. and then Scott who was ten and um, Scott became good friends with Ryan and Don Moore, uh -huh. which was Michael's sister and Christopher's Michael's brother. Michael's older sister. Mm -hmm. Then Aaron became good friends with Christopher and Michael. Was that fast? Was that really it quick? It was really quick, yeah. yeah so. Because um, they he, they went to Weaver. And um, Michael and, no, Christopher and Aaron were in the same classroom. Uh-huh. So they became fast buddies. And... Now buddies outside of school as well? Yes. So they hung out? They hung out. Uh -huh. Constantly, we the house that we lived in had a shed in the back, and um, 
they were they were very mischievous. They all had um, ADD, they had been diagnosed with ADD, and were just really bad kids. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. and not real bad like that, but just mischievous. Just, yeah, yeah. Trouble, trouble, troublemakers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, they took cans of spray paint my shed and spray painted it all different colors. And when when was that when they spray painted? Um, probably they had joined Cub Scouts. Uh, Todd Moore's. When did they join the Cub Scouts? When Aaron joined? I'm, I'm not sure. Right after they started school, so I'm not sure on dates. Oh, okay, okay. So it would have been around September. Yeah, probably. About a year before the murders. Yeah. A little bit less than a year. But Todd Moore okay. was their Cub Scout dad. He was the big guy, and then Dana. Diana Moore, his wife, and I were um, Cub Scout moms. So we pretty much um, all were, we were the Cub Scout gang. Like what did you do as a Cub Scout mom? We would go to all the meetings. Um, so you became good friends with Diana Di Moore? Yeah, Dana Moore was like my very best friend. Now, is it Diana or Dana? Her name is Diana, but everybody called her Dana. Okay, got yeah. it. Got it. So you guys were really good friends? Yes. And you used to go to the Cub Scout meetings? Like, what, what did you guys do in the, in the Cub Scout meetings? In the Cub Scout meetings, Todd basically ran them, and um, they worked for their little badges. Todd ran the meeting, and as moms, we just kind of sat there and oversaw the boys. And, but they always let us know when they were having a meeting. Just kind of hung out, you know, talked, and, you know, it was just really fun to be around all the boys. You, Dana, Todd, and uh, who else was did Steven's parents go to the meetings, or did Christopher's parents go to the meetings? Um, Christopher's parents did not go to the meetings, no. So Melissa Byers and Mark Byers never went? No. Uh -huh. I don't ever remember seeing them there. I think Pam had Pam has gone before, but she had to work at night. Uh-huh. She awesome. had a job. 